take on their crosstown rival Sheboygan Lutheran in the Holy War by the Shore. Uh, joining me is the coach, Chris Wright. I'm Mike Martin. And based on that, you'd think there was no clear advantage. How do you see it tonight? I don't know. I've been thinking about this all day, a little bit about you know how close things are. I kind of like Christian at home. Uh, they, they've been having a little success. Kind of were in the middle of the pack a little bit at the beginning, but they're playing really good basketball right now. They are extremely athletic uh, basketball team, and they got some senior leadership a little bit, and playing at home probably gives them a little bit of an edge. When you look at the players that played football, as you said, they're good athletes, and uh, that uh, Heinen is a big kid, you know, and I think he's going to be tough to uh, handle inside. Size-wise, how do you see the advantage there? Yeah, definitely in favor of Christian. It's been that way the last couple of years, too. It seems like Christian's got a whole bunch of big kids, and Luke Heinen's one of them. But, you know, he got Braden Van Ness, who we saw play football. He's a heck of an athlete, and Jacob Stecker. Um, I just see this, like I said before, a very athletic basketball team that's going to have a lot of fits for Sheboygan Luther. Now, Sheboygan Luther, on the other end, coming off a pretty big victory the other night themselves. Now, one of the things that I noticed in going over the stats was Christian seemed to give up more points in the second half of their ball games. So if we get a little bit of a disparity by halftime, don't count uh, Lutheran out because uh, Christian's been susceptible to giving up more points in the second half. Yeah, and they, they, but you know they've got some you know some quality wins and they got some, some you know they beat Cedar Grove already and they've got some things and they're kind of looking at the top. They got a couple teams that they got to beat in the head, but you know the conference championship is not out of out of realm yet. We know they have a 14 team conference and so they play 13 games. You play everybody once and you got the tournament. I think Sheboygan Christian is really starting to get better week to week for Coach Lipsy. Now, one team, I believe it was Christian, uh, missed a game because of the, the weather. Uh, Lutheran comes in 5-3 and three in conference, Christian 5-2. and two. So you're right, the conference championship is still within sight, but uh, the winner of this game certainly has a leg up. And uh, Christian can't afford a fourth loss. No, and the other day, Sheboygan Lutheran beat the... Lutheran, by the way. Sheboygan Lutheran beat... Uh, the top team, Hilbert, who's got a very ba good basketball team, had a great football te season, and now they have a good basketball team. They're ranked in the top ten. And the other night, you know, in their place, you know, just last week, Sheboygan Lutheran won that game. I think for Sheboygan Lutheran, I kind of wrote a little note down, attention to defense, not just some of the time, all the time, because Sheboygan Christian, with those athletes and things, they're going to score. they got four kids that are scoring over double figures. So attention to defense for Sheboygan Lutheran for the entire game if they want to win in this house. We talked with Tom Splitgerber, Josh's dad, uh, prior to the game, and uh, he said uh, they do like to shoot the three, even if the, the the website didn't reflect that. It was a little behind on the on the on the stats, but uh, three ball obviously could be big for uh, for uh, Lutheran because Christian's got the size inside, preventing inside play maybe by Lutheran. Well, this year it's you know Jared Jurst. It's been. Which Church brother? Well, it's his turn now. He's got a younger brother coming up in eighth grade. That's going to be pretty good too, Marty. But Jared Church, when he's hitting that outside shot and things and going, see how he flows. You know, I noticed he's only averaging about 15 points a game, which, you know, yeah. It's, but for him, I expect him, you know, closer to in the 20s and things. So I think the way he shoots and things will, will kind of dictate how things go for Lutheran. And you're right, with the size of Christian, you know, I think Lutheran would like to pick up the pace a little bit and get that up there and uh, hit some shots. Now, you mentioned that uh, Christian, you think, has the superior athletes. I tend to agree with you there. So that would lend Christian to being able to drive the ball to the basket. If you're Lutheran, what are you going to do defensively to prevent that? Well, I and I think Stecker's the big guy for driving the ball. Of the hoop. Right, and you gotta you gotta fill up that lane. You gotta collapse and help each other out. It's a team defensive thing, and that's why I said attention to defense. You know, we watched Houston over the last few years, and sometimes they just kind of get laps on their defense, and they give up a lot of easy baskets. So it's got to be that team defense and emphasis that you know Coach Decker taught Coach Verhagen, and you know he's trying to give it to this new group here, and you know, that's what you're gonna have to do to win win on the road. Do you think uh, Luther? No, oh, I haven't seen him play. I don't know if you've seen him play either team. But uh, do you think Lutheran, to try and help prevent the drive, would go to a zone defense? I, I'm not sure if they play any defense. I haven't seen him play defense. Play any defense or play any zone defense? I did see him play a couple Fridays ago, so I did see him play. Uh, went over there, and, uh, you know, again, we'll see with the big size and advantage of Christian. You know, sometimes zone does not always. If you're going to, you're going to have to collapse on those big guys, that's for sure.
All right. When we come, we're going to step out and we come back. I'll be doing the announcements for uh, the starting lineup, and then we'll have the tip off for tonight's ball game. His spot. You know my motto, safety first. They could be dangerous. I think we should call animal control. Animal control? To be safe. Don't worry. Just... I got this. It's a new motto. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. When you throw away money on wasted electricity, you're throwing away everything you could have bought with it. Saving energy saves you money. Learn more at energysavers.com. Your fairy godmother? It doesn't take a fairy godmother to tell you that the right fit means everything. Especially when it comes to car seats. Always choose one that's the right fit for your child's age and size. Oh, that does make a difference. <laughs> Remember, their happily ever afters are in your hands. To find out more, visit safercar.gov. Back at uh, Sheboygan County Christian High School, and there you see the teams by the benches are... Uh, getting ready to uh, give the starting lineups. Uh, Chris is still down on the floor. I think he's visiting with some of his friends. They had a ceremony prior to the game. We didn't talk about it in the opening, but uh, Brett Flipsy is, uh, is in his 20th season as the uh, head coach here at uh, Christian, and uh, they gave him a plaque and uh, had a reading, and it was uh, very, very nice. We're gonna shut down now and have our national anthem. They are uh, doing a prayer prior to the game. I don't know if you can hear that. Lutheran comes into tonight's game with a five and seven and five record overall, five and three in conference. Christian is seven and five, five and five and two. Uh, Lutheran, Lutheran's last game they lost to Green Bay New, 85 to uh, 72, while uh, Christian beat Elkhart Lake Glen Beulah, 68 to 25. Starting for uh, Luther, number four, Josh Splitgerber. 
Number five, Jared Jurse. Jurse, a 6'3 junior. Also in the starting lineup, Daniel Schimberg, number 11. Also starting number 21, Vincent Montezella, the third. And rounding out the starting five, number 34, Evan Olson. He's 6'5 and a junior. Uh, Montezella is a senior. Splitgerber is a senior. So three, three juniors and a senior starting for uh, Crusaders. Jacob Stecker, number 10, is a 6'1 senior. Number 21, Levi Modal is a 6'3 junior. Number 22, Alec Wissey, that's a name familiar to this side of town, 6'2 senior. Number 23, Luke Heinen, a 6'5 senior. He's that big tight end or end we talked about in the football season. And then Braden Van S, number 24, is a 6'2 senior. He rounds out the starting five for the Eagles. Uh, Chris, these officials do not look familiar. We didn't get names on them, so we can't uh, provide that information. But uh, surprising thing, only two tonight. <laughs> Uh, I recognize them, Marty, and uh, they've been doing it for a long time, but that was the first thing I was thinking, too, is when I was looking see just two officials. Very rare that that takes place now, um, but I'm sure they'll do a good job. If they don't, they'll hear about it. And if you've <laughs> never watched us do a Luton Christian game, we're upstairs kind of... Uh, Opposite of the the court or the scoreboard, and we opposite the scoring table. Yep. We're right alongside Richard, who's up here. It's like a balcony type situation, yep. and uh, a lot of people up here tonight. Yeah, there's to, a uh, nice nice crowd. I know over the years, I I remember coming to these games, and the parking lot would be you know almost three quarters full. Today, that was empty, and it's out on the streets, which is a nice thing for the community. Well, it's their only scheduled meeting of the year. The conference they play in, everybody plays each other once. Uh, the only reason for them to play a second time would be in the conference tournament. The Eagles control the tap and have the ball. Three ball is no good. Offensive rebound. And a shot is up and in by number 22, Alec Wissey. Right away. Big strong kid getting the rebound there. Also, Lutheran was in a zone defense, Chris. Montezella does a pump fake, tries to throw it inside, but had it taken away. A little bit of a weave by the Eagles and going right down the lane, although he couldn't get the layup up and in was uh, Levi Modal, good feed inside by Juris. Olsen with the basket. Tied up at two. Hey Chris, they got the number of timeouts up on the scoreboard, so you get five a game. We were talking about that one of our uh, games recently. Driving and scoring was Braden Van S. Well, that's what we talked about in the opening. Will Lutheran play defense? And so far, an offensive rebound and two easy opportunities at the basket to lay up. One miss and one make. Olsen got a nice pass from Montezella. Couldn't get the uh, basket, but uh, he was fouled. He's shooting a pair of free throws. Evan Olsen is the... Basically the size for Lutheran, 6'5 junior, as Marty mentioned in the opening. Big kid. I got him at 13-8 a game, Marty. Well, they've gone to him, that's for sure. You know, they're not uh, afraid to dump it down inside. He's got a nice touch from the free throw line. We're all tied up with 16-10 uh, left. Olsen picks off that pass. Juris pushing it up the court. Down deep on a nice pass by Juris, but uh, not able to get the basket was uh, Schimberg. And 
Lutheran likes to do this little token pressure up the court just so they don't walk it up. Well, they're in a man-to-man -man defense, and there's a travel. I thought the first trip down they were in a zone, maybe not. But the, that time, definitely in a man-to-man. -man. But you're right, uh, Lutheran's got to move their feet a little better. Olsen. Draws the foul. This one's going to go on uh, Heinen. That'll be his first. Well, we said coming in that Lutheran's going to come out and shoot the three. And so what are they doing? <laughs> Dumping it inside. They're working Olsen. A couple weeks ago when I saw him, Olsen had some attempts, but not. they didn't go to him like this. They must have got the message. <laughs> One for two trip. Lutheran on top. Dump down. Montezella steps in and tips the ball away. Three early turnovers on Christian Marty. And on just silly passes. Whoa. <laughs> I'm not calling anything on that, Marty. No, that's the lo lost ball, actually. Yeah. Lucky not to get a turnover. Schimberg on that drive and lost ball, but uh, Lutheran got it back. Olsen. Oh, and there's a good acting job, though. <laughs> <laughs> Olsen picks up the charging fall. I actually thought the very first move was a travel, not oh. called in any. That was a, that's a tough call, Marty. That was a... Excellent. Uh, you know, you teach that. And uh, I know Coach Desatel used to teach it. And Coach what, Lipsy, the flop? Oh, how to defend it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Take a charge. Yep. I remember when uh, the old days when Coach Dino was at Mantua, or at Fond du Lac. Remember, they all went backwards and fell on their ground and stuff. Heinen's shot from the top of the circle is no good. Schimberg with a three ball. Uh, around <laughs> halfway down and it didn't stay there it popped back out how could that happen jump shot in the lane by Van S is good and here I thought we were in a, you know, a house with uh, God over it and there was no no help there as that rolled out right Ball is uh, off the leg of Braden Van Ness out of bounds. Really? Chris, go ahead, Chris. I, I was just going to say it's hard to. Oh. Uh, that's a tough foul, Chris. And yes, what, what else? Is. The second part about it that makes it tough is it's a second foul on uh, Braden Van Ness. Yeah, that was a bad, bad uh, pass, and I think he just got his feet tangled up there. It should have been a no call. Could have easily been a no call. You're right. Yeah. Well, the both teams in a man-to-man. -man. Schimberg has it on top for uh, the Crusaders. Montezella with a three ball, high arching, and he's got it. Vinny Montezella the third, a former Jefferson boy. Averaging 12 and a half. Had a chance it. to talk to his mom last year, and uh, he's pretty happy he went to uh, Luther. Juris on the push, and uh, couldn't get the layup. Good defense by Van Ness. To not draw his third foul. Wide open. down the lane and scores. Chris, just what you're talking about. Yep. They just don't have an intention for defense all the time. There should be help defense there and too many layup attempts. Kick out. Shot attempt is up and good by Joshua Splitgerber. Another three ball. 11 to 8, Lutheran. Scoring starting to pick up a little bit. 
Stecker. Jump shot in the lane is up and in. That one by uh, Alec Wissey. Spin though. Wissey and Van Ness, they have all the points for uh, the Eagles. Schimberg shot was blocked. Van Ness with the rebound. Van Ness taking it to the hoop. Left-handed layup is good, and he's fouled by Schimberg. I got Van Ness with uh, four for four, eight points. Is that correct? Uh, he's got eight right now. I can see why uh, Coach Flipsy didn't want to take him out with those uh, two fouls real quick. You don't want to have a kid like that sitting down for very long. That makes it 13 to 11, Christian. Juris, kick out pass. Good cover up defense by Stecker. Not allowing the shot by uh, Leland. Third <laughs> shot again, wouldn't stay down. But putting it back up and in was Joshua Leland. All tied at 13. Christian shooting 54% for the game. There's a walk. But that's their fourth turnover, Marty. Yeah, that's, boy, when you're 30 feet from the basket, and you know, you don't know to put the ball down first before you start moving your feet. It's just unacceptable. 11.20 left in the first half. We're all tied at 13. Entertaining ball game so far. 1-3-1 one, one now for uh, Christian. Lutheran shooting 44% from the field. Jerst doesn't have a basket. Long skip pass. Shot attempt is no good. That one by uh, Split Gerber. But Lutheran gets it back. Oh, not uh, not a good decision there by uh, Jared. Threw it out of bounds. Split Gerber was cut into the basket, but uh, even if he catches yeah. it, it's what's gonna he have gonna do with it? Exactly. Put him in a position to be successful. In that case, that was not the case. Christian Bake breaking the press that time. Stecker, a little bit of a push, Luther not called, play on. Drive down the lane, reverse layup is no good. Rebound put back by Modal is good, however. I'm staying at 1-3-1, one, one, but where's the uh, help for uh, Luther? There it is. Got to be patient against this. Don't have to force it here. Well, they're never getting the ball in the middle of the floor. Splitgerber makes the three that time. Puts to the back. second make of the night. Yep, puts them back up by one. But I was going to say, they're never getting the ball to the high post in the middle. Wide open lane again. Stecker's shot was blocked. Montezella on attempted steal is no good. Coming up with it was uh, Wissy. You see, dumps it down inside. Shot attempt is uh, no good by Modal, and Lutheran comes away with it. Wide open. He's got to be ready for that. Yeah, he was not ready. You're right. Caught him a little bit by surprise. Cost him an easy basket. And another layup, but layup it's missed. Christian comes away with it, and I think that was Stecker put it up and in. Yep. But I'll tell you, the lane is just parted 
for Christian. Anytime they're patient enough, they can get to the basket and have easy shot attempts. They work it's so much easier for Christian, and Lutheran works so hard for their baskets. A little inside-outside action. Juris wide open, nails a three. That's how you like to see the offense run. 19 to 17, Lutheran up two. They're four of six now from three. They must have heard they need to shoot threes. Jump shot is no good. Oh. And Lutheran takes it away. Splitgerber trapped in the corner, calls a timeout. Wow, action is hot and heavy, Chris. Just out of curiosity, what do you got for turnovers for both teams? I know you've mentioned Christian several times. Yeah, I have uh, just two for three, excuse me, three for Lutheran and four for Christian. So, okay, so it's not out of, out of hand by no. any means. And actually good shooting so far. And I just think the opportunities for Christian are so much easier. They're getting to the basket and layups. Now they're missing some, but... Uh, like well, Lutheran said, hasn't caught much of a break on that uh, far basket. With the the one ball was uh, almost over halfway down, and it popped out. And then uh, the other one, the layup attempt. But uh, entertaining so far. Yep. Kids are playing hard. Stewart for Veldy checked in the game when we weren't looking. Uh, Heinen, I, I believe, got is, in. yeah, Heinen's back in. He came out. Olson rolls one in. They got it inside to him, and he made him pay. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if he, he gets the second foul. If things change a little bit. Cause they're going to try to get it inside there to Heinen against him. Should have oh. given it to him there. I was going to say he had good inside position. Stecker's got to work a little harder to get the ball inside. Olsen. Oh. Got around Olsen but stepped on the line. No, they think they're going to call him on a wrap. You are right. You're right. Heinen picks up his second. So uh, Van S and Heinen each with two fouls. Coach Flipsy uh, leaving those two boys in, though. Well, Van S is out right now. He's getting a rest. Oh, Juris on a drive, couldn't get it. Olsen, little short one, couldn't get it. Trying to control it and couldn't. Goes off the fingertips of uh, Stuart Verveldi. The Crusaders will have it back. 7.19 left in the first half. Montezella open for a second, couldn't get it. And uh, Stecker comes away with it. And uh, good hustle on the defense by Jared Juris to tip that ball away from Heinen. I'll tell you. Four point lead, by the way, for uh, Lutheran. Going right to work. Heinen with a reverse layup, that was sweet. It's gonna be tough to stop him. It's just his first basket though, Marty. Yep, he hasn't taken many shots either. But uh, you're right. Montezella's shot was blocked. I'll tell you, you got Heine with two fouls and Lutzer not making good decisions there. I would be pumping it right into Olsen. Yeah, exactly, good point. Gonna go right to him. Heinen got away with a push that time too. He did the same thing, Chris. Did the old wrap around to get by and it worked, but uh, good thing the official didn't see it. Otherwise he'd have picked up number three. Will Ballant in the ball game for uh, the Eagles. Three ball is uh, round and out by uh, Wissy. Yeah, I think it was Splitgerber got the rebound. No, uh, Grabowski. Okay. It's fourth. Garden Grabowski. Graydon. <laughs> Oops. Yep. There's a Paul ball inside. Olsen. 
and uh -oh. hit. Heinen came over and got the block, but let's see if he's the one that picks up the I foul. Think they're gonna go. There were three guys around uh, Olsen. They are. Rivaldi picks up the foul. Olsen will be at the line again. He's already had four attempts, made three of them. Ash back in the game, or in the game, and Schimberg back in the game. Brendan Ash. Olsen, <laughs> hey, Some they got the roll. <laughs> Four point lead for uh, the Crusaders. See if they go down low to Heinen here again. There you go. Heinen, spin move, scores. Tough, tough to stop. Yeah, Olsen can't handle him underneath. Savaging almost 14 points a game, and Jers walked with the ball. Boy. <laughs> Levi Modal back in for uh, Christian. Ballant has it on top. Stecker with a three ball, couldn't get it in. Ball tipped away, coming away with it was a Modal again, inside drive, no good. But uh, Modal will be going to the line, shooting a pair. Uh, Christian's two losses in conference are to Hilbert, where they got beat by 20 in the Howard's Grove. And again, we said just last week, Lutheran beat Hilbert. Hilbert leads the league, they're eight and one. Howard's Grove, Cedar Grove is six and two along with Random Lake. Then comes Christian and Kohler at five and two, and then Lutheran at five and three. Sergi Molitor giving you that shot of uh, Modal. Richard Bartson up here giving you that shot. Running graphics tonight. We have Nate Free. Robert Ingram is our director and assistant director is Eric Wiesman. Dumped down inside and not going to do much down there when you're no. surrounded by the tall timber. And he put the ball down too, which was a mistake, Marty. Wasn't strong with the ball. Just a sophomore. Got to learn that stuff. Got to keep it up high and either you're going to shoot it or get it out because big strong guys. And uh -oh. I think they're going to get a foul on uh, Joshua Leland for uh, pushing off to get open. Oh, I thought that was going the other way. I thought it was going to be behind in uh, there. That was a pretty good call, actually. Yeah, it he was, shoved but, off uh, to get open. Normally, I agree with you, but normally... <laughs> it worked, too, except the official saw him. Team fall situation. Lutheran has five, Christian has four. Uh, pardon me, Christian has five and Lutheran has four. Jump shot from the top and outside the line is good by Ballant. And that's their first three, Marty. They haven't taken a lot. 24-23. Christian on top, 440 left in the first half. That was just Christian's first of four. Gives them the lead. Schimberg has it on top. He's looking to find somebody open. A dribble, dribble to nothing, Marty. Yeah. Dribble with a purpose. They're having a little trouble with the uh, length of uh, Christian. That's one thing that uh, Juris says. He's that uh, security blanket when you need to get it to somebody. Jared not able to make the layup. Dumped down inside to Stecker and he scores. Nice pass by Heinen. I can get Olsen in quickly. 26-23. 
Eagles. Ball tipped away by Stecker, but uh, was not able to save it. Well, you got your two leading scorers on the bench, Marty, and you're down by three. See how that bodes for Lutheran. Yeah, I don't like taking uh, Juris out. Well, and you got Olsen well, out, with, and yeah. you're trailing. Well, Vinny's a senior, so uh, that'll definitely help. They can always uh, depend on him. Split Gerber, bango, another four, three ball. Yep, he's three of four from out there, Marty. Brought him back to even. I'd go right into the middle here. Try to stop me. Heinen goes one way and comes back the other and picks up the foul. They're going to give him two shots, Chris. Schimberg picks up the foul. He has two. Heinen's first trip to the line. Christian, so far, Chris, with that miss, is one for four so far in the half. The Crusaders have made five out of six. That one was pure. 27-26, Christian up one. 3-10 left in the first half. A oh, bad pass. Ballant with a nice pass to Stecker. He turns and scores. That looked like a sophomore mistake. I'd get Olsen and Jers in the game. You have three minutes to half. They can rest then. Montezella. They're looking to double team when they can. Shot from outside the line by uh, Ash is uh, no good. Ballant forces it in, or pushes it in, but had to kick it back out. Modal from three, no good. Coming away with the rebound that time was Leland. Blew the whistle. I don't know if it's on Montezella or Modal. They're calling it on Modal. A 16 foul by Christian. Next one will send uh, the Crusaders to the line. 2.11 left. Still has Olsen out of the game. That shot is up and in by Ash. Sixth three of the half for Lutheran. 18 points from out there, they're 29. Yeah, that's kept them in the game for sure. It's all tied up. Heinen again going inside. Modal with a nice fake, puts it up and in. Easy day for Christian in the paint. Said in the beginning, they got to keep them out of there. They've made a living there. Nice pass inside. Kick out to Split Gerber. Couldn't get it in. And ball was tipped away and then knocked out of bounds. Out of the hands of uh, Joshua Leland. No call. That's what you hear in the background. Somebody wanted a foul. 121 left in the first half. Got to go strong to the basket, Marty. Christian up two. Juris' shot in the lane was blocked, but then he gets the ball right back from outside the line, but couldn't get it in. Ash with the rebound. Montezella's three ball is in. A rainbow three that time. And another three ball, Chris. Yep. Well, we saw the north-south game. North hit 14. Lutheran's halfway there. Heinen no good. Modal. There's that athleticism, Chris. A little bigger, a little stronger, jump a little higher. 
And uh, second opportunity, 48 seconds, Marty. Yeah, I don't think they're playing for one. Well, maybe no. Time out by uh, Christian. Looks like a 30, so we'll keep it here. Uh, What's the biggest lead, Marty? It's been back and forth, huh? No one's really had such a big lead, right? 4-4, four, four, 6 5, eight, eight, 11, 13, 11. Uh, four point lead for uh, Lutheran at 21 17 and 23 19. So they've had a four point lead twice. Christian's largest lead has been three at 26 23 and 29 26. So, uh, very close. Not a lot, uh, not many runs. No, when you look at it that way. Good question. As a matter of fact, that was your best question of the night. <laughs> well, we'll see what they come out with off, off this inbounds play after the timeout. Stecker uh, lost it out of bounds, and uh, Lutheran is going to get it. That is a coach's nightmare. You take timeout, we're going <laughs> to yeah, set up this play, and then throw it away. Uh, Joshua Splitgerber on the great defense that time. Now we'll have to see how uh, Nick Verhagen has his team play these uh, last 40 seconds. They might be content to uh, run out the clock here, Chris, or play for one, I should say. Yeah, each team has used one timeout so far. 25 seconds left. Montezella doing a good job of uh, getting the ball over to Juris, and Juris doing a good job of getting it back to him. 14 seconds. Maybe we can do this whole second half. And Six. Moving the balls. Montezella for three. No good. Rebound. Put back is no good by Ash. And that's the buzzer. At halftime, Lutheran 32, Christian 31. They said a bottle was just a bottle. That no one would ever notice me. But I knew I could be more. That one day, I would make people smile. It nourishes, brings us together, and adds flavor to life. That's why it's important to wash hands, surfaces, and fresh produce. Keep raw meat, poultry, and seafood separate from ready-to-eat foods like fruits and vegetables. And cook to proper temperatures using a food thermometer. Enjoy, and refrigerate leftovers within two hours. For more tips on safely preparing foods, visit Home Food Safety. the lamp in your room. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you to. You make me wear my bike helmet. You taught me never to run with scissors. And to follow the swimming rules. You tell me to stay away from drugs. To always buckle my seatbelt. So why do you keep a loaded gun in your drawer? How safe is that? You ask them to follow some safety rules. Now they're asking you. In fact, they're counting on you. Never let your gun get into the wrong hands. Remember, always lock it up. Visit ncpc.org. Traditional light bulbs actually generate nine times more heat than light. Switch to Energy Start light bulbs 
and you'll realize just how much cash you are really burning through. Saving energy saves you money. Learn more at Energy Savers. Got a quarter? Yeah, I'll Can we get some ice cream? Please, Mom, please. No, we're having dinner yeah. soon. Please. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just... Kids who play outdoors have healthier lungs. Totally. Did you know that boys that play with dolls make better husbands? My son has lots of dolls. But did you know terry cloth diapers breathe better? I did. Mm -hmm. Totally true. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you guys know statistically friendly kids have more friends? Yeah. That's obvious. Did you know most people think they're using the right car seat for their kid, but they're not? The parents who really know it all know for sure that their child is in the right seat. Visit safercar.gov slash the right seat to make sure your child... There's one thing you can never have sex without. It's not something you buy. Or something you take. In fact, there's only one way to get it. It has to be given to you, freely. It's consent. Because sex without it isn't sex. It's rape. Consent. If you don't get it, you don't get it. It's on us to stop sexual assault. Learn how and take the pledge at itsonus.org. Everybody has a dream. Mine was to see the ocean. And with a little help, I've made it. Hey! Going out like that? Yeah, why? Well, <laughs> what would the neighbors think? <laughs> Look what I have. Mr. Bird, remember? Bark, bark, bark. We're just playing. We're just playing. I'm trying to get you out of here. Even still. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. Getting closer to nature can get you closer to your family. Go to discovertheforest.org. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today.
You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just... They told me a bottle couldn't dream. That I would never become a superhero. But I learned how to fly. Just to come back in a new disguise. And be the hero that I've always wanted to be. Living near the water, it's a dream come true for many, except when there's flooding or a hurricane. That's why people who live near lakes and rivers, by the ocean and bayside, are working with their local planners to make sure that protection from all sorts of natural disasters is part of the planning process. Learn more at planning.org. That's planning.org. Back at uh, Lutheran, uh, pardon me, at uh, Sheboygan County Christian High School with uh, Lutheran on top, 32 to 31. Halftime scoring first for uh, the Crusaders. Splitgerber has nine, Juris three, Leland two, Montezella the third has six, Ash three, and Olson also has nine. For uh, the Eagles, Stecker had four, Ballant had three, Modal six, Wissy four, Heinen five, and Van Ness led uh, the Eagles with uh, nine points. Uh, big story in the first half was seven threes by Christian, and they made five out of six free throws. The Eagles, no threes and two out of five free throws. Chris, what do you got? Yeah, those seven threes for Luther, and they're shooting 33%, but uh, hitting half their threes at seven for 14. Just 37% for Christian, and uh, I think the second half is going to be which of the big fellas takes over? I know we talked a lot about the athleticism and things, but uh, uh, looks like Heinen's trying to establish himself, and I'd, I'd pound Olsen about I was Lutheran side, but uh, very entertaining first half, very even in just about every statistical category. And, I and think the score. Uh, before the game started, we thought that Heinen would be a dominant force inside, and uh, Olsen uh, can neutralize him somewhat. There's a block as we speak. Did you call that good timing, Chris? Yep. <laughs> and uh, I just think Lutheran, if they're going to stay in this game and win this game, they got to keep Christian out of the paint. I think that's just going to cost them too too much down the line if they don't uh, step up on their defense and help out and fill up that lane. Split Gerber on the line. Foul went on uh, Levi Modal, and that was his second. And an empty trip. Yeah. There goes that free free throw shooting percentage. Olson backing off a Hein and giving him the three from on top. Now, I thought Splitgerber should have picked that ball up. I thought even though it was tipped, he had a chance to yep. save it, but he wasn't watching the ball enough. Heinen outside the line, but uh, Olsen backing off. Woodall looking, Monazella commits the foul. Head over at North, they're trailing Pulaski by four. At halftime, yep. Pulaski's a very good basketball team. They're uh, leading the conference in the FRCC. All these new conferences, Marty. Yeah, Big East. Seems F like every so many FRC years, the yeah. WIA really uh, changes things around a lot. Do you remember it being like that in the past, Marty? Uh, a little bit, not not as much as now. I remember uh, they moved two rivers when they were really good in football for a number of years into the valley, and I mean they just they had a hard time competing. You know, within about three or yeah. four years they were back out. Size. 
There's just more high schools now up in Green Bay. Schimberg uh, looking to get inside. Kick out pass to Montezella. His three from the corner is oh. got a friendly bounce. What they weren't getting in the first half, Vinny got right there. 35-32. I'd keep it tracking in there, get in there. Oh, good steal by Splitty, though. Kerber stepped in, knocked the ball away. Thought he was going to be a little late. I thought that was a good idea there to drive to the basket. Trying a little bit of a back door and good athleticism there by Olsen on the lob pass. Twice they've run that play. Largest lead of the game for either team. It's now up to five point four. Te technically, they tied that. It's four points. Heinen had the shot block, but he kept his uh, control and was able to put it in. I thought he traveled first, Marty. Uh, yeah, 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 I guess. <laughs> I, I thought the same thing, too. Juris up and in, and he's fouled. Now Jared had a really tough first half, Marty. He was one of eight. The only shot he hit was a three, but that one gets to go. Yeah, he was pretty silent. Didn't take a lot of shots either. Well, took eight. <laughs> oh, he did? Yeah. I wow. Had, I had one for eight. Maybe that's why he wasn't making any. <laughs> Didn't notice it. Biggest lead of the game, Marty. Five. Yeah. Wow. Now we got it. There's that drive to the basket, and it's going to go off of Van Ness. And uh -huh. they, they're not getting any calls down there. And I think coach uh, is going to talk to him, and the official's going to talk to him and say, "Yeah, uh, official, I mean, you need to keep your thoughts to yourself, son." Hey, they're at home; they ought to get those calls. 15:38 left in the ball game. It's uh, 40 to 35, Lutheran on top. Well, fouls have been re really even, too. That's just another stat that's been about this game so close. Right, and they started off with uh, Heinen and uh, Van Ness getting two fouls, but they finished the half with only two fouls, so they're in pretty good shape. Juris's uh, three-point three shot is no good. Good side, good feed inside to Heinen, yeah, so got and he draws there. the foul on Olsen. So then the talking helps a little bit, because got the next one. That's three now on Olsen. Christian doing a little better on their free throw shooting this half. They've made all three. And, uh, Leland in for Olsen. Big foul there. Yeah, that was a big one. And there's still 15, over 15 minutes yep. left. That's the thing. You pick up that third with you know six minutes left. You can leave him in there. That looked good. Forty to thirty-seven. Right in with seven, seven points. Whoa! Leland went one way. Montezella's pass uh, went right over his shoulder, out of bounds. Six turnover on Lutheran. Christian has seven, another stat that's pretty close. That's why we're a one possession game. Right, exactly. And it's been close throughout. A little bit of a weave run by the Eagles and uh, Lutheran just switching. Heinen's shot is around and in. Boy, oh boy, he muscle that one up. Got the roll. He's three of 10 shooting now. He's starting to, oh, excuse me, four. Four of ten shooting, I'm sorry. Jurish with a fake. They're calling three seconds in the lane. Yeah, I don't see that very often. Graydon Grabowski in the ball game for uh, the Crusaders. Nick Verhagen pacing the sidelines along with uh, Brett Flipsy. Flipsy in his 20th year here at Christian. 
Van S high off the glass, no good, but tip out goes to Christian. Jump shot in the lane again is no good, but Lutheran comes away with it. Wissy had that second shot, just wouldn't roll in for him. Schimberg looking for the drive, couldn't find it. Good defense played by Heinen. There's a, a mismatch. Bit. Yeah, a lot of size difference there. Where are you going? And he threw it away. Not a good possession. Wissy we'll with the uh, interception. Wide open. Heinen. Foul. He's going to go to the line to shoot two more. Chance to give the Eagles the lead. Well, that was not a very good possession there. No, that last one was not. You're right. All right, Chris, I've got number 23 written down four times in a row on the Christian side. They've been, uh, oh, yeah. Heinen's been active, to say the least. Feed the beast. 13 points, make it 14. Yep. And they have the lead. Yep. Six point run by the Eagles. Schimberg had a bit of an opening but didn't take the shot. Montezello will take the three and nail it. That three point basket is keeping them in the game and have the lead now, Marty. That's nine threes. Yep, you're exactly right, Chris. Every time that looks like Christian is just taking control here, they get a three to fall to either close the lead or take the lead. Shot by uh, Van S is uh, not even close. Pretty good pressure that time by uh, Lutherans Grabowski. Uh, Van S has missed his last five, Marty. Lutheran trying to penetrate and pitch, but uh, Christian doing a good job of recovering. Yeah, their defense is good and big. They're just bigger and stronger, and they close up those gaps, Marty. Heinen on the uh, cut through by uh, Juris is tipped out of bounds. Split Gerber will uh, toss it in for the Crusaders. 43-41. Oh! Oh, wow, we got to call a foul on that. You got to call a foul on yeah. that. I know a fan right in front of us and here his, is not his happy. And his dad's but... standing right next to me and he's giving me a dirty look. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob Stecker, <laughs> you're right, that is, that was a good hustle. It was good no hustle, question. you can't go under him. That's only Jacob's first foul, but uh, evens up the uh, team foul count at three each in the second half. And now a fan is getting uh, worn. Same one that stood up here. Oh boy, the guy in the blue. Yep. Let the kids play the game. Good step out defense. Juris' shot is no good. Couldn't quite kiss it off the glass the way he wanted, Chris. Bad angle again, not a great shot. Deep attempt. pass, it's tipped by Split Gerber and off a Stecker. Lutheran will get it back. I'll tell you, if I was Christian, I'd be a lot more patient and use your big man. Heinen is just tearing it up this half, and that's two consecutive trips for them, trying to rush things off off uh, three-pointer on two best possessions ago. Ballant in the game for uh, Heinen. Also coming in, I believe, is uh, Stuart Horveldi. Montezello wants to get an open three, feels it. But uh, Van S doing a good job on him. Juris' shot is no good, but then it's taken away by Schimberg, and now we're going to get a tie-up situation, and it it is going to go to Lutheran. Wow. Juris, too, kind of two not very good Out shots. Out of control, yeah. right. I thought that was an excellent attempt. He could have kicked it out to Monty. He was waiting outside the line. And like I said, Christian just so big and uh, tough to, tough angles for him to go at there. Just be patient. Your time has come, and you have the lead. 
Becker with a good hustle, and now we're going to get uh, Schimberg, I believe, on the foul. I don't think so. And a tee. With Stecker on the foul. I and think the uh, Braden Van S said one nope. too many things. Nope. I think they're both going on. Jacob. Oh boy. Well, Jacob Stecker is going to get one personal foul, and then I think the T goes on a personal foul too. So that's he had one. Now he picks up a quick two, gives him three in the ball game. Schimberg on the line. Coach Clipsy trying to get an explanation. That makes it 44 to 41, 45 to 41. Well, I'll tell you, Christian's been talking a lot to the officials, Marty, and uh, you know that's that's the job of the coach and your captains. You know, they talk to uh, Braden Van Ness about it, and once you talk to one guy, the next guy, you know, you just got to know better. Yeah. Explanation again. And again here, you're getting your explanation. You may not like it, but. You know, you ask the official to come over, he explained it. Then you better, you know, accept his, why he did it. See how. Luther on the offense. They've got the lead and the ball with 11-15 uh, left. And Olsen back in the game, Marty. Kind of interesting with your lead. I don't know if I would have brought him back in. That you didn't need to do. Stecker with the steal. Hard to the basket. Scores. He could have been fouled, yes, but uh, no have. call. Spuddy could have easily just taken that ball and threw it and not gone over the back. Well, Splitgerber took the worst of it. Yeah. I think you... You know, I, I think he... You know, you know what it is tonight? It's the holy war by the shore. It is. They are battling out there. Wow, it's a really good game. Very competitive. Kids know each other, as you mentioned, from uh, other sports. Olsen getting called for another offensive foul. That's his fourth, Marty. They got that play down. And he's going to come out. Second time they called that. Braden Grabowski in the ball game. See, I wouldn't have brought him back in, Marty. When you're ahead, you don't need to bring your, your guy that has tendency that falls in there. When you're behind or trailing, then you bring him back in. And Luther uh, now bringing everybody up now. Yes. I don't know about this move, but we'll see what, just token. No, no traps or anything out of there. Great well, game, Marty. <laughs> it is. Van Ness had nine early points. And now we're going to get... <laughs> Montezella had his uh, forearm on the back of Modal. That's what the call is going to be there. For uh, Vinny, that's his second. Fifth team foul. Both teams sitting with five team fouls. 10.36 left in the ball game. 45-43 Lutheran. Three ball by Stecker. No good. Juris goes high with two hands. Grabs that ball. I thought he got a good look, Marty. Yep, he definitely had a good look. He's got... There are only three. The tonight. ball is tipped away from Juris. Good defense again by uh, the Eagles. Modal's got it inside on Montezella. The shot was blocked, but we get a whistle. Modal will go to the line to shoot a pair. For uh, Montezella the third, that's his third foul. Yep, and the fouls are mounting. Yes, they are. And with uh, 10 minutes and eight seconds left, we could be in the bonus pretty early. Yep. 
One a two trip makes it 45-44. Lutheran still on top. Well, they're about due for a three, Marty. Montezello with a drive and a stop and a shot and couldn't get it to go. Stecker with a board. Stecker going hard. Scores. And the lead. Yeah, pretty easy. Luther not uh, shooting like they did in the first half, Chris. That's part of the problem for them. And uh, the three ball has not been as prevalent. They only have one, and we're over halfway, almost two. half. Two threes. Okay. Montezuma's got two. Okay. He does? I got him for two. This half. <laughs> I think so, I did. <laughs> I got him with a three-point play, not Monty. Splitgerber's shot is no good. Van S with the rebound. Oh, that was an easy call. Grabowski with the foul. Well, Marty, with at the 15-11 mark, or about six minutes ago, Lutheran had a five point lead when Olsen picked up his third. Really? So they've scored only five points in six minutes. Since that time, Christian has a chance to, uh, has at least 11 points, make it 12 and maybe 13 on that run. I found that other three by Vinny. I forgot to put the little three next to the basket indicating that, so you're right, he does have two. Schimberg with the board, it's 47-45. Uh, Christian on top now, rolling down to the nine minute mark left in the ball game. Eagles are in the bonus. Lutheran still struggling from the field, shooting about 34%. Leland, uh, couldn't get a shot. There's just no flow, Marty. Christian has stepped up their D. Good feed into Montezello, who dishes it over to Split Gerber, and he puts it in. It's been a long dry spell for the Crusaders. Yeah, that right. But they're even. Give it to him. Nope. You know, I'd get Heinen back in there, too. Van S with a three, no There's good. There's a lot of push. Yeah, good block out by uh, Grabowski to keep Modal from uh, going after that ball. Modal tried to get through it. <laughs> he definitely did. <laughs> Almost give the official a little credit for uh, no call. Yeah, I agree Let with him you. play on. You betcha. Uh, Leland almost stepped away from the pass, but was able to gather it in. Schimberg around Van S, but couldn't get the layup in, and uh, Braden gets the rebound. Pick up the Stecker. He got hammered in the face or in the head, and uh, he'll be at the line shooting a pair. Well, they keep getting to the glass, Marty, which they've done all night, but, but now they're getting fouled, and the fouls are mounting on Lutheran. And now the big fella, Luke Heinen, is going to come back in. We haven't seen much of him this second half. Well, he's going to... Play the last eight minutes, I'm sure, Marty, for the fourth quarter. In Verveldi, the old days. Yeah, Verveldi steps off the floor, Heinen back in. And uh, I think you nailed it earlier in the half. They should be going down to him more often, especially with Olsen out of the game now. 49-47. Becker leading score with 16 points a game. Hits a couple free throws there, and another ball. Montezella. Not careful enough with the ball. Now we get a tie up. And it should be, uh, yep, Christian. going over to Christian. That's yeah. what I thought. Well, Stecker created that steal there. He leads the team with 24 steals. Got a couple tonight. Now Christian has the basketball and the lead. Oh, 
Perspiration on the floor from the good hustle by the boys. Well, we're set to go. 7.35 left. 49-47. Christian. Jerson Olsen on the bench again, Marty. Yeah. And now we're going to get up. some zones by Lutheran here. There to get it inside, but uh, Heinen throws it away. Should have been an easy basket for Christian there. They broke that press. They, yeah, they did, got the ball zone. inside. Montezello open. Three ball is no good. Grabowski had it tipped away from him. And uh, it'll be uh, Lutheran's basketball. Spitgerber tosses it into Schimberg. Nine Looks of like 19 a, is uh, Lutheran in threes. It's like a man-to-man -man defense again, Chris. Yeah, and they can put a lot of pressure on these guys. And they're long. They seem to get deflections. Who is going to step up and score? Schimberg trying to go down the lane, but was stopped, and We've now he's going to get tied up. We've seen this rodeo before, and uh, he goes down there, but... He's got to make better choices. He's just getting trapped in things. Timeout Lutheran to prevent the uh, turnover. And it's a full timeout, guys. So let's take a break and uh, we'll be right back with uh, 637 left in the ball game. What would you bring to my company? What do you need? I need problem solving skills. I got through high school without a car, a phone, or a computer. No college degree, though. Not yet, but life's taught me a lot, and I'm ready for more. Well, you're not the typical kind of candidate that I hire. But you are exactly what I'm looking for. Your company could be missing out on the candidates it needs most. Learn how to find a great pool of untapped talent at grads. Here you got Johnson Ellis Big in the John. middle of the picture. Yep, I saw him at halftime. Chuck Benedum off to the uh, Jimmy Rush. Yep. Off to the left. Uh, in action yesterday, Lutheran girls beat the uh, Lutheran, or pardon me, the Christian girls, 49-44. Dakota Wiegert had 13 points. Mort Morgan Gatowski had 11, and Josie Pingle had 10. So... On the varsity level, Lutheran trying to get the sweep. JV game went to the Christian boys today. Yep, good point. We got to mention that. And we're going to get a carry called on Grabowski. Yeah, I was just going to ask you that. Lots. Really? Seven turnovers for Lutheran. This half? This half. Oh, yep. that, that is pretty many. And they're shooting under 33% and under 33% for the game. Mm -hmm. good, good dump down good inside to Moto who puts it up and in. Heinen with a great pass. Too big. They're just too big. We can go right over that zone, Marty. 51-47. Montezella passed up to three. Splitgerber takes it, however. Couldn't get it. Moto with the rebound. And a fast break opportunity for uh, the Eagles, but they uh, pull it out. Van Es no good. Heinen. Oh, missed the bunny shot. Use the backboard. Juris off the cut, off the catch and shoot, but again, a missed three. Seventh rebound for Stecker. Modal. Move to the middle of the lane. That's too easy also. Yep. They're just too big and powerful. Six-point lead, largest lead of the game. Well, in the last 10 minutes, Lutheran only has seven points, Marty. Yeah, they've... Uh, they can't put it in the basket between turnovers and missed shots. They don't get to the, to the basket either, so they don't draw too many fouls. Good work of the ball. Schimberg ends up with the three ball, and he nails it. That was huge, Chris. 
53 to 50. Lutheran takes another timeout. It's a 30. Not a fan of it, Marty. And uh, yeah, I, I don't see the point. 4:47 left. They got a long way to go, and you may need those timeouts. Out. You just hit a three. Right. You just got a three. And there's a long way to go. Four timeouts left for uh, Christian. Two left for uh, Lutheran. It's 53 to 50. 4:47 left, and uh, been a very entertaining game. But uh, I think the defense is starting of Christian is starting to catch up with the Crusaders. Lutheran just having a hard time. Lutheran 10 of 22 from three point range. Long way to go yet, Marty. But uh, one Brendan thing, Ash is back in the ball game for Lutheran. One thing I see is that just five fouls on Christian and uh, eight on Lutheran fouls are going to. Yeah, that, that could free be. Free shooting going to be down. Christian so far hasn't done a good job of that. Maybe they'd be better down the clutch. Better in the second half than the first half. I just. Modal again taking it right to the basket and scores. He's been huge. Yeah, they're just strong. Schimberg has it on top, couldn't get an opening. Leland looking, got it in the lane, but didn't take the shot, kicked it back out. A lot of time being taken off the clock. Well, they got to get a good shot, Marty. We're under four and five, four minutes. Schimberg drives to the basket and commits the offensive foul. When you go to the coach, not the right idea. Wissy coming back in for the Eagles. What is that, about four offensive fouls on uh, Yeah, Olsen, Lutheran I well. think, has two. And uh, Schimberg has that one. What are we doing here? Getting the towel off the floor. Okay. Wipe the floor good, and then wipe your brow with the towel. <laughs> <laughs> Van Ness has it being guarded by Schimberg. We're down to a 340 left in the game. Christian with a five point lead and the ball. Dumped down to Heinen. He takes and shoots it right over Leland. That was an easy basket. And they're doing everything right this half, Chris. Yep, they're just owning the paint. Montezella, or pardon me, that was Ash with the three. They're not getting much else in three ball attempts, Chris. Nope, they can't get in the paint, can't draw the fouls. Let's see if... Uh, Oh. Van S got right around Splitgerber but missed the layup. Yeah, he hasn't made one in the second half. I got him 0 for 7 after he started off so hot. Had nine points early in the uh, first half and then uh, didn't do much after that. He made his first four, Marty, and he hasn't hit one since. Wissy committed that foul. It's only the sixth team foul on uh, Christian. Olsen back in. I don't understand why Jerse either isn't in, Marty. Olsen has uh, four fouls, but uh, with 2.30, you got to get him back in there. Ash had a good look, and the ball was dead on, but uh, just a little bit long, bounced away. 2.20 left in the ball game. Heinen dumps it into Modal. Money. Yep. Montezella can't handle him inside, and he's not getting any help. Schimberg trying to go to the basket, but again, 
Good help defense that time prevented the drive. Almost a steal, Montezella tries to shoot on the run and couldn't get it in and then a down to Wissy. Layup is good. Getting away, Coach. It's definitely getting away. There's only a minute and a half left. So you 61, 53, eight point lead. Ash with a quick three, couldn't get it. Schimberg fouled, no call, and the rebound goes to uh, Christian. And they're gonna get uh, Olsen shooting free throws. I'll tell you, Olsen, just one basket here in the second half. One shot attempt at that, Marty. Boy, oh boy. And he uh, was uh, money in the first half. And he rims the free throw out. So it stays 61-53, 1.15 left. Dumped down inside, Wissy. Couldn't get it, Olsen with a strong rebound. But uh, Schimberg, quick three, round and out. It's been the story in the second half. Under a minute, 50 seconds. Is that a foul, or what's the plan here? We Schimberg uh, commits the foul. Van Ness will be at the line. I'll tell you, Marty, it was 40 to 35 at the 15 minute mark in favor of Lutheran. They've only got 13 points since then. The three ball has not been going in like it did in the first half. And they've been forced into shooting threes and uh, the inside play by uh, Modal in this half, Heinen in the first half has been uh, really good. Yep, just 33% shooting for uh, Lutheran in the game. And a uh, bunch of turnovers, too, in the second half didn't help their cause either. Now it's a 10-point game. Three ball by Splitgerber and a quick timeout. That's going to be too little too late, though, Chris. There is uh, 41 seconds left. It's 63-56. Uh, Certainly not over yet, but uh, it's going to be uh, tough to come back. Just got a quick note from uh, Matt Horzen. North up seven with five minutes wow. left. And then the next one is north up two, minute 30. Oh. And he adds to that, Pulaski doesn't quit. Christian shooting 39% from the floor. But That's they, it? Yeah, but they have owned the paint, Marty, yeah. as of late. Like to see a shot chart of their, well, you know, their makes in the lane versus misses, because inside they've been pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Lutheran has one timeout left. Modal is going to uh, throw it in. Yeah, Gets it right into away. Stecker and uh, Splitgerber takes care of that. The two free throws are in the double bonus. Heinen down deep, number 23, he's 6'5". Paired up with him is Brandon Ash, he's 5'11". <laughs> he better do a good job of blocking out. Well, again, just not a lot of scoring for Lutheran in the last 15 minutes of this basketball game. Stecker now with uh, 12 points. Split Gerber with a three. Uh, bad miss there. Van Ness is fouled. we go to the line shooting a pair. Here we go. 
Van Ness had nine points in the first half. He's got uh, two here in the second, looking for uh, a couple of more. At 11 points in the game. So far, Chris, uh, Christian has been very, very good on their free throw shooting. Four out of eight, seven out of eight in that column. And six, seven, eight out of nine in this column. Who would have thought it'd end up a 10 point game, Marty? Really? But they've really uh, closed. We were right at the beginning. Lutheran did not match up well athletically, but making all those threes kept them in the game. Yep. When that dried up, you know, yep. that pretty much was the ball game. Yep, and Olsen got those foul trouble. His third and right. fourth. Right, yep. He got his fourth. Sat a lot. Came in, you know, right away into 10 23. Mark got that fourth foul. And, and it's an 11 point lead now. And uh, stepping on the line was Sam Leipom. Jacob Bluen in the ball game. Elijah Nuon also in the game. These are all Lutheran kids. For Christian, Brett Steenwick in the ball game. Wissy's got the ball. Gets it over to a Kowitz. Hendrick C has it now. He's in the ball game, and also in is uh, Jason Liang, and that's going to be the ball game. Final score: Christian playing a great second half, 67. Lutheran tough shooting in the second half, 56. Chris is going to go downstairs to uh, hopefully get a couple interviews after we come back. But there's our final. Christian, 67, Lutheran, 56. Todd's a great guy. I mean, look at him. What a sweetheart. Attaboy. Wait, Todd, what are you doing? How totally selfish and untod like of you. Come on, Todd. Come on, man. Wow, these are really good. You act surprised. Practice makes perfect. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. There's one thing you can never have sex without. It's consent. Because sex without it isn't sex. It's rape. It's on us to stop sexual assault. Learn how and take the pledge at itsonus.org. You make me wear my vice helmet. You taught me never to run with scissors. You tell me to stay away from drugs to always buckle my seatbelt. And to follow the swimming rules. You're always looking out for me and trying to keep me safe. So why do you keep a loaded gun in your drawer? Here in the garage. Closet, shoe box, under the bed. Where anyone can get to it. How safe is that? How safe is that? How safe is that? You ask them to follow some safety rules. Now they're asking you. In fact, they're counting on you. Never let your gun get into the wrong hands. If you own a firearm and are not using it, please be responsible and be sure that it's stored in a safe place. Remember, always lock it up. For more information on firearm storage safety, visit ncpc.org. Listen to me. I am captain of the track team. And if I'm late, she doesn't
Good job on the interviews, Chris. So some final scoring uh, leading the Crusaders was uh, Levi Modal. You saw him down there with uh, Chris. He had 18 points. Uh, Braden Van Ess had 13 points. Luke Heinen had 15 points. And uh, Jacob Stecker had 12 points. It was a four-headed monster tonight for uh, the Eagles. They had great contributions. Their inside game was uh, very awesome, too, between Modal and uh, Heinen. For uh, the Crusaders, uh, Split Gerber led... Uh, the Crusaders, Joshua had 14 points, and Vinny Montezella finished with uh, 12, and uh, Olson, Evan Olson had 11. Uh, the win moves Christian up to 8 and 5, 6 and 2 in conference within striking distance of the leader, Hilbert. Uh, Lutheran, however, drops to a 7 and 6 overall. Five and four in conference, and they're pretty much out of the race. So uh, we did get a final on that North game. They lost by seven to Pulaski. Our next game will be January 27th. That's uh, next Friday when Pulaski comes to Sheboygan to play South. Uh, hopefully we'll get some better results from the Pulaski people when we have that game. Our crew tonight, we had Robert Ingram and uh, Eric Wiesman, co-directors. Uh, up on top, we had Richard Bartson running camera one, Sergi Molitor running camera two, Nate Free was our student helper running, helping to run graphics in the truck. For my partner Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin saying thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you down the road.